What's up boys, I'm back and today I'm gonna be talking about more of the mental health of YouTube than just like YouTube in general because everybody has already beat that topic to death because everybody knows, oh YouTube, YouTube, YouTube sucks. But like we already know that we don't have to repeat that. I'm gonna be talking about more of the mental health that comes with YouTube. And the first thing I wanna talk about is comments. Comments can be the best and worst things that a YouTuber can see. Best thing because imagine like you work so hard on a video and then you see people saying like oh my god I love the video oh my god um, just being generally nice and it just says you know what my hard work did pay off and also it can work against people because imagine the same scenario but people are saying like this video sucks I hate you and things like that I'm not saying you like you need to get thicker skin like especially if you're doing YouTube but even without that it's still gonna stick with you and somebody has told me once this I'm like seeing like watching a podcast with like commentators and things like that I heard somebody say you are always going to remember the hate like hate comments you're not going to remember the one person that said um oh i love your videos and things like that you're going to remember the person that said like hate like says like oh i hate this video and da da da, da and go on an entire rant yeah so when I, and i didn't think about it until like my vanos video dropped like a bunch of his fan base went in my comment section but thank you guys for the free views if you did if you did comment it all you did was help me get more views so suck it nerds but basically what I it just basically showed me like how much comments can control your mood and you just need to be prepared to like deal with that because if you're like going in blind with YouTube and not thinking about things straight and you just see hate comments and you don't know how to deal with it is going to ruin your mental health and it's going to affect you mentally and then it's gonna make you feel like you don't want to upload and then your channel is dead and you just need to keep on going that's basically the only advice I can give you on that basically um just keep going even if you see people hate your video not hate your videos but like hate a particular video and just just won't shut up just keep going because you will find fans like all it did all you need is time Time. another mental health thing is when you are worked so hard on a video and then YouTube just age restricts it or something like that or if you're monetized and you want this like and you need to make money and then YouTube just demonetize it that can be a huge mental thing and if that's the case I recommend making a patreon or something like that or just even make a second channel which like where you can do all your vulgar things not vulgar, yeah kind of vulgar things like that but then be kind of not squeaky clean like you can still show personality but like not as much as this so you still have a place to upload and you can still be personal to your fans but also then you have another place on youtube where you can make money and basically still have income so you can basically just have two things one for fun like how you can be yourself and one for monetary gain and i recommend doing that because on patreon patreon is known for like people like being vocal not really vocal but like people that have like are more edgy on the platform they are like they get rid of them more often because that so i recommend just making a second channel depending on how vulgar your content is and that's just like another way like that can ruin your mental health because shit i'm not making money what am i going to do and then it just makes you stop uploading so when you do upload you're not just only getting demonetized but also your fans have forgot about you and things like that also another mental thing seeing other people more successful than you like in your same genre let's say two creators are starting their channel at the same time and they make like similar videos to each other one gets successful and the other is like getting views and things like that but like it's not as successful as the other person the person that's like not as successful is gonna be wondering what am I doing wrong what can I do what am I doing wrong and then it just fucks with your brain and they don't know what to do and then they just generally stop uploading upload I do not care like, how, this is gonna sound mean but like it's gonna help you in the long term it doesn't matter how bad your mental health is when it comes to YouTube like if you like feel like it doesn't matter if you upload you're not gonna get no views if you, I guarantee you, if you keep uploading you will get views you generally like 
until you blow up. And it doesn't even have to be a big blow up to start getting fans. Like, it can be even a hundred views. Yeah, it may be small, but to a person, that can mean a lot. And you will start gaining fans that way. That's how I recommend. Because another mental thing is people that blow up really, really quickly is if more on TikTok happens, but it can really happen on YouTube. I see, like, I've heard about people, like, blowing up, and then they don't know what to do with that fan base, and then they just start going down, 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 down. And another thing, when you blow up, you may get, like, a thousand views. Let's say that as a baseline. You get a thousand views. You cannot expect to get a thousand views on your next video. It's always going to be lower, I guarantee yeah, it was just a blow up, but then the people that actually want to stay is just gonna watch your videos. And also, if that is the case, do not quit. It's a natural thing when you blow up, you're most likely not gonna get more. Let's say you get a million. Let's say you get a million views on YouTube. Like, you blew up insanely. Your next video is probably going to do a lot worse. Maybe, like, you start pulling 100k views or 500k views. Yeah, it's nowhere near a million, but you're still having consistent viewership. Things like that. And even if... So that's basically normal. So do not quit if that does happen to you. But also I recommend just growing slowly because you have more time to adjust to it. And um, my final mental health thing that I want to learn about is basically connection. Connection. Like, more drama. That's basically what it is. I was thinking about. I don't know why I said connection. No. If you get, like, if somebody makes a video on you, do not dress out. Especially if you're in commentary. Yes, you should take the criticism, but do not do it. Do, do take it lightly. That's basically how I'm going to explain it. Take it lightly. Do not make it such a big deal because if they if they see you like freaking out, like if you make a video basically screaming or things like that, like really complaining, is going to make people not like you. Yes, you can make a response video, but you have you can't stress out about it. Because if you do stress out about it, then people are going to say a lot more things about you, and make more videos on you, and then your mental health is just going to go down. Also, if you're like old enough, I don't know, like I don't think I don't know how to explain it. Like if you're like if your mental health is really really bad, I go to therapy. Do not seek out therapy to other commentators or YouTubers. The best thing you can do is go to therapy. And don't make it public, that's another thing. That's like, this is gonna be a small rant at the end. I hate people that just says so much information. Like, I, I get saying to your fans, like, hey, I'm feeling a little bit down right now. Oh, that's fine. But when people spew every information, not every information, but every emotion, the ever the feeling at that moment, all the time, especially on Twitter, it is so annoying. So I think that's everything I wanted to talk about this video. Um, like and subscribe because I'm because I'm just one subscribers and I would greatly appreciate it. And if you do subscribe, I will give you a big, big, big high five because I don't know what else I can give you. And I will be back with the marijuana.